All right. So I guess let's get divisive. I had to look this up. So I heard the statistic and it just sounded completely insane to me. The U.S. had 647 mass shootings in 2022. Here's the full list. Now, this is from the Gun Violence Archive. So, we're going to, you know, here we go. Uh, 647 mass shootings in the U.S. in 2022. 44,000 people died due to gun violence overall in 2022. 2021 had slightly more gun violence deaths compared to 2022. Okay, so like I said, this seemed nonsensical to me. So I have gone to their data. Now, we're going to note that right here at the top, the Gun Violence Archive defines mass shootings as four or more people shot and or killed in a single incident at the same general time slash location, not including the shooter. So four or more people shot and or killed in a single incident. So I start looking these up. Right? I'm just going to see. Because, I mean, obviously we're not going to hear about everything that happens. Um, let's see. The first one I looked up. 2000. No, that's that's Peoria. That's the weird one. Okay, so we'll do the 1600 block of Cecil B. Moore Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, January 1st. So what we're going to do... Jan 2022... And here we go. Uh, teenager shot and head killed four people injured after shooting. Okay, so what happened here is at a big old party, one teenager got shot in the back of the head and died. Four other people were shot and injured. So that's a total of five people. Okay, that counts. Let's keep working down the list here. Uh, we'll get to this one in a second because this was the one that confused me. Like the way this is laid out, look, one killed, four injured, right? So it was one teenager shot, four other people shot. So we go to, let's do Columbia, Missouri, and see what this is. Um, do this. Columbia, Jan 2022. Um, okay, well this doesn't appear to turn up any results. Maybe there's more if we go deeper. Let's see. Um, okay. Okay, well, there's no news story associated with whatever this was. Missouri. Columbia, Missouri, yeah. Well, maybe if we specify. Huh. Okay, so we still don't have any results. Here we go, here we go. Police intervene and shots fired. Okay. So according to this, this was zero people killed, four people injured. Disturbance at Silver Ball, multiple shots were fired. Police located four adult male victims. Who sustained not life non life threatening injuries and transported to a local hospital. Um, the shots were not fired at the officers. The officers did not fire their weapons. So there was some shooting. This is a release from the city of Columbia Police Department. Okay, so again, that's four, right? That's zero killed, four shot. We did uh, this one. That was one killed, four shot. So this is a total of four people. This is a total of five people. So let's do this one, Kenosha, Washington. I think I, Wisconsin. I think I actually heard about this one. Um, so we'll do this, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Uh, we'll throw this in there. One person is dead, three more injured after an overnight shooting. So there we go. One person is dead and three others injured. So yeah, that works out too. One dead, three injured. And we get to this one. This is a, this one's odd. See, I have this pulled up, but I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up again just to make sure. Two thousand block of Southwest Adams Street. Peoria, Illinois, Jan twenty twenty two. 
Okay, and this is what we get. Two people kill. Okay, so based on the way these other data have been laid out, this should be two people killed, two additional people shot. Unfortunately, what actually happened is two women were shot. That's it. Now, there was another shooting, West Martin Luther King Drive. That's a separate one. But two people shot and killed. So this is, this is what I'm bringing to your attention. And your opinions on gun violence notwithstanding, the point is this is bad data. And the reason I say that is here we have a total of four people involved. Zero. Four. Zero killed, four injured. Here we have a total of five people involved. One killed, four injured. Here we have a total of four people involved. One killed, three injured. Here we have a total of two people involved. Okay? Two and two. So even if they were counting, even if they were counting this other shooting, Let's see where it was. Oh, it's Robert White. Oh, yeah. Life-threatening injuries. And this one was dead. So... What was it? A woman and a man. Okay, so two women were shot and killed in the first hours of 2022. So there was a woman and a man both shot. The woman died. The man lived. And then we move on. Another shooting. The woman was taken to the hospital where she died, and a man was also shot. Okay, so they're counting these two separate incidences as one, I guess, because they came from the same guy? Um, let's check the next one. Three, two, six, one... Also noting that we're using Google here, so we're not going to necessarily get unbiased results. Dillon, South Carolina. Dillon, SC, Dan, 2022. I mean, this is literally them, so we're not checking that out. Okay, here's the South Carolina... Department of Public Safety incidents report. <clears throat> collision, no injury, collision, no injury, road construction, collision, injuries, collision, 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 hit and run, collision, 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 assist, motorist, private pop, Main Street, in progress, what is this? Hit and run, no injury. Collision, 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 hit and run, collision, pedestrian and roadway. Okay, so this is this is the South Carolina Police Department's report report from that day. So let's keep looking. Now again, we have this, but this is literally these people. Okay, and we can't use them as a reference for their own as evidence for their own statement. So Again, same people, but no mention. We got a motorcycle wreck. No mention of a shooting. We're on the third page now. And our first result is again, as if to prove my point about Google, the first result is the same page. Let's go back. Let's go back. Two, you know, it says 22 0 1876. 22 0 1876. Yeah, look. Look at that. But where is it? Someone tell me where it is. Huh. I still don't see it. So we're going to go ahead, and even though I would think that a shooting. Where, see what happened here, Dylan, where five people died, a shooting where five people died, I would think that would make the news, but 
We are not going to make assumptions. So I will go ahead and add this. One dead after shooting in Dillon on Sunday night. Now this was March 7th. Okay, here's one. This is March 13th. And again, the only reference we can find to this five people dying shooting on January 1st is from this group, from the Gun Violence Archive. Four people shot, one killed in Auburn. But this didn't happen. Okay? Now, I'm not saying that this didn't happen. Maybe it did happen. But I can't find evidence for it. This is January 25th. Okay? And there's no mention of a shooting where five people died. Okay, so what about this? Let's try this. Oh, I misspelled that. Still June. Still June. June 21st. All right, let's spell this out a little more. Um, nope, 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 no, nope. Traffic, traffic infractions. Okay, so the point of this whole thing, I mean, obviously I could go through here and see if I could find some more incidents like this that apparently just didn't happen. But the point of this is you cannot trust random statistics you see online, okay? I don't know anything about these people, the Gun Violence Archive. I don't know who they are, but a lot of this is misleading, and some of it apparently just didn't happen. So, you know, vet your sources.